this Honda Fury, even dirty, it's just too damn beautiful to not take it out for a little test ride. So I got a few questions that I'm going to try and answer for myself is one, when I rip this thing, is it going to open up or is it going to be kind of slow because it's just a big, slow revving engine? Two, can I actually handle something that has a 71 inch wheelbase comfortably in the city? And uh, three, just what my overall thoughts of this bike are. So let's jump on. I think it's a 2010, but I believe the whole first generation of Honda Furies are all pretty much the same. Honestly, just picking the bike on and off the side stand, it's just, it's super light. Honestly, my Triumph Thruxton that I just picked up feels heavier than this bike, even though this bike is much heavier, because the weight center of gravity is so nice and down low, and the wheelbase stretches that weight out so long, so... Let's see how she does with some little, little curves and little, uh, little bit of an incline. All right, here we go. Clutching out is super smooth. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it picks up pretty quickly. You don't have a tachometer, so you gotta kinda just feel what the RPMs are like. So in the city at slow speeds, you're definitely gonna wanna keep it in first gear if you're doing like parking lot speeds. The bike is happy being leaned over. It doesn't feel like it's fighting me or anything. Granted, I'm going slow, but Shifts really smooth. Got to try not to kill this squirrel. Didn't even really have to look to see where those turn signal controls are. They're exactly where they should be. Feels really natural, intuitive. Handling the bike is super easy. Um, one thing I do find weird if I was going to be riding aggressively is I don't really know where to put my knees. They're kind of there's nowhere to like. I can't hug the tank because it's this nice svelte skinny tank but there's kind of an air box on my right side and there's nothing really here so I kind of have this weird awkward thing going on yeah so I mean this isn't exactly your canyon carver type bike Ooh, signals are still on but you know still kind of just want to share that observation with you guys coming to a stop is just this thing feels like it's like it feels like a train like it's on rails you know it's just super easy to come to a stop and taking off again. Clutch lets out eat gently. Leans really well. Even on an uphill lean, you can really hold your line. Now, here's another question for you. Is it a beginner-friendly bike? Um, that's an interesting one. Beginner-friendly in the sense of this thing does not want to take off on me. Like, even if I give it gas, okay, yeah, it'll go a little bit. Yeah, all right. But just when you're letting out the clutch from a stop, it doesn't take off on you. It doesn't accelerate. But... With a wheelbase this big, I don't know if I'd recommend it as a good first bike. I think it's a perfect second bike. I think it's a great second bike. But we gotta we gotta really open up the throttle a little bit to find out for sure. I really don't mind the wheelbase. I was really thinking it might handle like a boat. But oh my god, it handles so nice. The reason why I'm taking this out is um it's a customer's bike, he's in for winter storage. And I put some fuel stabilizer on the gas tank. Now I just gotta run that stabilizer through. You know what? Let's take some of the streets. One thing I'll tell you. You ride this bike and everyone's looking at you. Let's see the horn. Yep. Horn works. This bike is an absolute beauty.
the guy in the Yamaha jacket at the bus stop was like checking me out. <laughs> and these Furies, they never really caught on. They never became like a hot sellers or anything, which is good and bad. It's good in the sense of there is probably not a lot out there, but at the same time, there's not a lot of people that are interested in them. So if you're interested in one and you're willing to travel a little bit, you can find these for, for fairly good prices. And, and a lot of people who bought these, they just, they really liked the look. They always wanted to have a bike and they didn't necessarily ride them a lot. So you can still find them 10 years later with pretty low kilometers. When I get to the next stoplight, we'll see uh, how many kilometers this bike has. Look, you can even split lanes with this thing. <laughs> All right. What do we got? 13,000 miles for a Honda motor, for a 1300cc Honda motor, that is a baby. Oh, this has plenty of power. This has all the power you need. Excellent bike. Now, if you own one of these or you're thinking about buying one, you're probably going to want to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a couple, um, I'm going to be doing about three maintenance videos on this bike. So on one, I'm going to show you guys how to bleed the brakes front and back. On the second one, I'm going to show you guys how to change the oil and filter. You know, it is really big and kind of awkward on like a tight right turn from a stop. But the clutch lets out so lightly that you almost you, you can't even be mad at the bike for that. It's just, <laughs> it compensates for itself really well. It's like the Honda engineers thought, what is wrong with this bike? And how can we cheat the system to actually make it not so wrong? So I'll tell you what I mean. Here I am again. So I come to a full stop, right? Put my feet down. Yep. And now I got to turn this big son of a bitch to go over there where the girl in the cute pants is. And, uh, oh, here we go. The thing is, the clutch doesn't let out. It doesn't just take off on you. So it's actually really easy to make that right turn. The first time was a little bit weird, but second time, no problem. Anyway guys, if you're into the Honda Fury, you might want to subscribe because I'm going to have a few more... What the fuck is this person doing? If you guys really like them, if you're interested in them, you should subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys how to bleed the front and black brakes to get uh, new fluid in there, how to change the oil and filter, and we're also going to be changing the uh, shaft fluids. So I'll show you how to treat it like a dealer would because I have the service manual. So subscribe if you want to see those videos. I will also link to them in the description box down below once they come out. Ride safe, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.